I am going to uh, invite Paul Westrom, our junior warden, to tell us a little bit about what has happened at in this historic church and where we are in our restoration project and what is about to happen next. Also, how you can support this effort. And I'm going to take this opportunity to say thank you to Paul for everything he has done to lead this project. It has been a constant effort for the last three plus years, and he's done an amazing job. So, Paul, thank you so much. Hi, good morning. Um, just very briefly, because I did write a letter to the parish, and that's uh, available on the church's website, and then there's also a link to a deeper report. Uh, we were going to start outside, but we just in a, just to make it easier in terms of time. But about three years ago, this time, we shut the church down because we had some problems with mold and mildew. Um, we remediated that, we cleaned out the basement, and when I say cleaned out, it's been ripped down to the studs. Uh, we also replaced the heating system. You can see a brand new heating system. Um, and that was before my time, Dave Monroe was in charge of that. Um, so brand new heating system, the basement has been ripped out. Um, and the mold was remediated. And then we decided that we needed a new roof because that's why we had this leak all along up there. Um, it's called a cricket, I found that out. We had a leak. And then when we were doing the roof, which the roof is done, you can drive by and see it, it's very beautiful. Brand new slate roof, brand new copper gutters and downspouts. Um, a lot of brownstone work was redone and two brand new brownstone crosses were installed thanks to the generosity of the parish. So, yay, that was phase two. Phase one was the basement and getting rid of the mold. Phase two was the roof, and now what's left is phase three. Um, when we were replacing the roof, we had another big leak, which is why that whole wall is ripped out. Um, that will have to be repaired. Very, that's a small repair. And all this canvas is delaminated. This stuff here is a canvas wallpaper that was put on to um, cover cracks in the plaster. So that's all coming off starting tomorrow. Right outside the door we have our dumpster and we're gonna start removing that plaster. Before we remove the plaster, we painted some colors from what we think are the original colors of the church. So in the back corner is a red and a dark blue and that was circa 1847. Um, the original color. About 13 years later, 1860, we have this. I have the actual color if you care. It's some kind of rose. A Roycroft rose. And then the ceiling was a Dutch tile blue. And that was from like 1860 to about 1905, we think. Um, around the 1900s, we had this color scheme here, which was sort of gray on gray. And we still did not have plaster on the walls. And then we have a picture from around 1907, which is when the rood screen went in. And we then noticed that there is wallpaper on the walls. And then that color scheme was pretty much what we have all the way after that, which is the ivory and the deep blue. Um, the beams and the baseboards have pretty much been a brown the whole time. The chamfered edges are gold, and that was like 1980 that got painted gold. Um, we intend to put the chamfered edges back to black, um, to brown and black, like they were originally. And the baseboards would be brown. We have not chosen a color yet. Um, they're going to get ripped off tomorrow, but once this is down to the plaster, we're going to try and paint some of these colors again. We still have the paint. What we're trying to figure out is, is the plaster that's underneath the wallpaper redeemable? Can we restore it or not? So that's going to be about a two-week process. Um, the church will be usable after that fact. Um, I've been assured that we can pull the wallpaper off and stabilize the plaster. So that's our next phase. And then that's going to guide us forward on where we go after that. I do have one picture. You can see me walking on carpet. Um, it's been wood and then uh, mat over top of the wood and then carpet. But this is the original 
floor right here. And our goal is to try and get back to this original floor. Um, we thought that this was going to be glued on. It's not. It's just nailed. So that actually makes it easier to take up this subfloor if we choose to go that route. Um, I want to thank everybody for their generosity and just understanding we have a little bit further to go. So that's my report. I'm available. You can call me. You can email me.